Hi, it's Tara from Empowering Motherhood. The sequence today is to help you to come into a nice strong side plank. Side plank is great for overall conditioning, strengthen your arms, your wrists, your shoulders, as well as give you a little bit more mobility in your shoulders and really help work on that, um, that core and balance. It is a more advanced posture. If you are getting sore wrists or shoulders, either take a break or you can come down onto your elbows. Um, to keep working on the strength, but don't overdo it in your wrists and your shoulders. You might find you want to ease yourself uh, gently into it. And it's also great to work on a stronger posture, that real sense of satisfaction um, as you come into that um, deeper level with your yoga with a stronger, more advanced posture. Okay, so just starting on hands and knees to come into cat and cow. Spreading out the fingers, knees at least, hip width apart. We're going to warm up the core and the spine, the shoulders and the wrists, dropping the head down as you breathe out. When you're ready to breathe in, breathe in, look up. Breathing in through your nose and out. Press the hands and knees into the floor. Pull the lower belly to the spine as you breathe out. And following, your body's following your breath. Breathe in, look up. You can go with your own timing. Just going through cat and cow a couple more times. Down. So we're going to come into down face dog, tuck the toes under, breathe in, lift up into down face dog. Press the hands into the floor, marching from heel to heel. Just letting the body move with it to start with, to warm up. Keep the pressure of the hands into the floor, coming to centre. Feel the hands and feet on the floor, drop the head down. Deep breaths in and out through your nose. Strong arms and legs. We're going to drop the knees, untuck the toes and come back into child's pose. Just resting the forehead down. The body breathing itself. And coming up again into cat and cow a couple of times. Breathing out into your cat stretch. Lower belly pulls up, hands pressed down. When you're ready, breathe in, look up. Finding your own rhythm, all the way out with the in, out breath, and nice deep breath in. One more time through. And release, breathe in, tuck the toes under, down face dog. Press the hands into the floor, look at the bottom of the mat. Strong arms and legs, gently lift the arches of the feet. Looking at the bottom of the mat with a couple of nice deep breaths in through the nose and out again. Hips lift up to the ceiling, chest comes through to the legs. Lower the knees, untuck the toes, pull back into child's pose. Resting here, breathing in and out of your back. breath coming up. We're going to bring the weight forward. So bring the shoulders over the hands just till you feel that contraction through the body, that strength. Lifting your head a little. And we're going to tuck the toes under, come up into plank. Pressing the hands into the floor. Keep that head gently lifted till you feel that real strength coming through your body. And lower the knees, untuck the toes, pulling back. If you're hurt, if you've got getting tired, wrist at any time, just rotating the wrists. Feel the breath coming into the back of the body, the buttocks, the legs. Take a deep breath in, come up and into down face dog, looking at the bottom of the mat. Strong arms and legs, shoulders come into the back as the chest goes through to the legs. We're going to come into plank from here. I want you to lift the hips, the, sorry, lift the heels, lift the lower belly to the spine, roll up and look up. Feel that same engagement through the body and strength as you did before. And this time we're going to lower to the floor. You can bring the knees down or you can come down in one piece, coming down. Shoulders back, elbows tucked in, press the feet to the floor, coming up halfway. 
and coming down. Coming a little higher. Keep it fairly comfortable on your back. Coming down. One more time, coming up into cobra as high as you feel comfortable to. Shoulders down, elbows tucked in, feet pressing into the floor. Breathe in and out through your nose. And lowering down, pressing back into child's pose. Nice and strong, lifting up and back. Again, rotating your wrists if you need to. Breathing in and out of your back. Take a deep breath in, you're going to roll up to sitting on your knees. Rolling up so it engages the deep core. Back of the hands to the knees. Drop the tail a little bit. So you're not arching your back but dropping down. Bringing, activating the deep core on the pelvic floor. Lifting your head so you're looking straight ahead. Drop the shoulders. You can close your eyes. The body breathing itself. A couple of nice, deep, conscious breaths here. And open your eyes, interlace the fingers, sit bones pressed down as the arms reach up, drop the shoulders, pull the arms back. And release, take the hands behind, pull the shoulders down. Again, try not to over arch the back, keep the tail down. Imagine the sit bones drawing down towards the floor, perhaps taking the arms up. Breathing into the front of your shoulders and your chest. And release. I'm just rolling the shoulders back, getting the shoulders nice and fluid there. We'll just come into a little twist before we finish off. So just take your feet to one side and sit off to the other side. And we're just going to twist away from your feet. So take a deep breath in, pull in and up from the deep core. Drop the shoulders as you breathe out, looking behind you. And release. And just coming over to the other side, taking the feet off to the other side. Take a deep breath in from the lower belly, pull up. And exhale, coming around to the other side, pulling the back shoulder behind you. And release, coming back around onto your knees. Relaxing the back of the hands. Drop the lower back a little. Lift the chest and your head. So we're going to come into a little bit of a sequence now. Again, feel free to pause at any time or take a break. And we're going to work our way into um, a stronger side plank. So coming onto hands and knees, tuck the toes under, breathe in, lift up into down face dog. Looking at the bottom of your mat, really feel the hands plugging into the floor. Nice deep breath here. On the next in-breath, lift the lower belly to the spine, lift the heels, rolling up into plank, lift your head a little. You're going to bring the weight into the right hand, right foot on the side. Press that hand into the floor, lifting the hips up. And then taking the arm up. And looking down, come over to the other side. Press the left hand into the floor, taking the left foot on the side. Lift the hips up, looking up at the top thumb. And coming down, you can bring the knees to the floor if you need to, or come straight down, pull the shoulders back, and come up into cobra. And lower down, and up and back into child's pose. Forward to the floor, resting here for a couple of breaths. And on your next in breath, coming back up and into down face dog. Looking at the bottom of the mat, strong arms and legs, lift the arches of the feet a little. Feel what happens through the legs when you do that. On the next in breath, lower belly to the spine, lift the heels, look up. Coming back into side plank, weight into the right hand, press that right hand into the floor, taking the arm up. See if you can take that left foot up off the floor. And looking down, taking your time to come over to the other side, press the left hand into the floor, left foot on the side. See if you can take the right leg up.
And coming back down. Ready to lower to the floor, taking the knees down if you need to, controlling down and into cobra. Shoulders down, elbows tucked. And lower down, come back into child's pose, resting here for a few breaths. Stretching out the back, rotating your wrists if you need to, relaxing the shoulders. Feel the breath getting deeper and smoother. 